Hey everybody, it's Scott, the Treasure Coast Picker, and I'm bringing you another haul video from Florida. As I promised the other day, I said we were going to go out and look for some more things. And I've got a few things here, maybe a dozen or so, that I wanted to share with you. Uh, off the bat, let's go with uh, these uh, Funko Pop items, which sell retail at around $11 to $15. This is Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie Boogie. I got these at an after Halloween sale and paid $4.99 and I should be able to get at least $15 for this and uh, it's the glare I don't know if you can see the glare but it's kind of a dark figure it's Oogie Boogie with the bugs from the movie Night there before Christmas also from the same movie and the same price $4.99 we got this uh, Funko Pop clown from the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas and uh, he's new in box and uh, regularly like I say $11 $12 is only $4.99 so I grab them. I might lock them together as a, as a threesome. And this will be Sally, from the, also from the movie. She's got, uh, sorry about the reflection there. And uh, $4.99. Again, I may put those three together. And I grab this one because I don't really collect uh, It. But this is Pennywise from the movie It. And it's Pennywise with crab legs. Like he's got, you can see that in there. He's got uh, crab legs as, as arms, as hands. Again, this was $4.99. I took a chance. I think we'd probably get uh, $14, $15 a piece for them. Also, a Nightmare Before Christmas item. This was uh, originally $19.99. Again, on sale after Halloween for 75% off. It is a uh, project. It projects uh, a Nightmare Before Christmas images on the wall. And uh, original price was uh, $19.99, so I got it for 5 bucks. And uh, this should do well, even though Halloween's over. Nightmare Before Christmas... Uh, Stuff sells pretty much year-round. Uh, what else? Here we go. Uh, this is an interesting little item. It's a Chicago Bears alarm clock. And uh, it looks like a scoreboard. I haven't quite figured out uh, how all the buttons work because there's no instructions with it. It was um, $4.99 with 25% uh, off for senior day. So uh, whatever that comes out to be. And, well, 25% of $4.99, I guess, is another dollar or so so it cost me about four bucks and uh, I just got to figure out how to get it to, to work I know it works because I plugged it in it lights up but uh, I got to get the instructions maybe I can find them online download them uh, got some coffee mugs this was a really interesting mug that I've never seen I've looked online I can't find it it is a Fiat 500 uh, I'm not sure that's that's the old Fiat 500 not the new one this is the old vintage Fiat 500 and around the base of the mug, in different languages, it says, uh, I believe it says, structure and mechanical parts of the car. So it's kind of a cutaway or a, um, not an exploded view, but a kind of an x-ray view of of the, the original Fiat 500. It's a great little mug. I paid uh, two bucks. I think Fiat people will like this. And uh, who knows, we'll shoot high and see what happens. Then I got some Starbucks. These were... Um, 75 cents each. Starbucks mugs are kind of not as good as they used to be as far as sales go, but you still get around $15 a piece, and some of them still still command good money. This is New York, the Big Apple. Not too exciting to look at. It's got some details on the back of it. Again, it was 75 cents. It's the uh, Collector Series, or whatever it says here. Starbucks doesn't say Collector Series, but it's a city mug. New York City, 75 cents. I'm going to put it up for like $15 plus shipping. And then two or three others, Puerto Rico. Uh, this is a pretty nice one, Puerto Rico. Uh, this should, again, ask $15 or so on that. Paid $0.75. Cents. Uh, Colorado. I'm going to clean these up. They're a little dusty. Colorado. And uh, look at the skier on the back and the uh, Starbucks on the bottom. And then we have, finally... Switzerland, this one will go a little higher, I think. I've seen these go for close to 30. So uh, Switzerland, it's got the Alps on the back. And uh, this one might get a little more. But again, these mugs were 75 cents each. Couldn't pass them up. Had to take a chance. And uh, I think we'll do okay with that. Then, uh, this is in interesting. I got this FootJoy. Uh, it's called a wind shirt. And it marked the price was $4. Uh, first off. Foot Joy, I got the nice Foot Joy embroidered logo on the back. It's uh, made in China and it's 
extra large. And it's really nice. It's got, you can't really see them because it's black, but it's got uh, two zipper pockets, a zipper pocket on either side, and it's made of, uh, what is this made of? Doesn't say. Can't really tell you what it's made of because I, I don't know. But it's made in China. It's a nice, uh, well, we don't have that. So, but I got one. I got two. Another one, Foot Joy. This one's red. This one's a large. Both from the same store. And uh, again, it's the same with the zipper pockets on the front, on the side trailer. And uh, a third one. Three of them. This is also a uh, large. And uh, Foot Joy wind shirt. Um, this one's beige. And uh, those were four dollars each, but I had a coupon or a, a one of those discount cards that after you spend two hundred dollars over the course of how many years getting this card punched, uh, you got fifteen dollars worth of free merchandise. So I had the four, three, four, fours of twelve. So I grabbed this John Deere new with tags shirt. Was uh, grass is always greener shirt, new with tags. Was three dollars. So added to the other twelve was fifteen dollars. I got. The foot joys and this shirt for nothing, zero, no, no money at all. Uh, next up is uh, Tory Richard, which is a nice Hawaiian shirt brand that I like to purchase. This one is made of cotton lawn material, and it is a really nice blue and green pattern. Uh, nothing too exotic. It's very simple, but uh, conservative, I would say. And uh, this one was five, five dollars um, less. A discount, senior discount of a dollar, so that was four bucks. And finally, this one is Rima, R I M A, and this is just in time for the holidays. It's uh, Santa Claus on the beach, or Santa Claus doing his thing. Uh, different, he's playing a guitar, he's uh, on his cell phone. Uh, what's he doing on the back here? I don't know. He's got a couple, it goes around, it goes around the whole shirt, Santa Claus. And uh, this was six dollars and uh, extra large. And uh, these two pretty good. This time of year should be a should be a winner. Uh, one last item. I told you this is going to be a quick one. And one last item, which is going to be hard to show because it's so big. But let me see if I can get this up here. If you can see this guy, it is a poster, frame poster, of a, a guy with uh, tires. It looks very vintage, but I don't know how vintage it is. Uh, the photographer is uh, Herb Ritz. And it was just something about it that I said, you know, this is an interesting, interesting photograph. Uh, someone's going to want this. And I did a little research, and Herb Ritz, Ritz was a pretty, pretty uh, successful celebrity photographer. Although this guy, I don't know if he's a celebrity or not. But he started out years ago, he took some headshots of Richard Gere and went on to a, a, a long career as a, as a celebrity photographer. Uh, this thing was six ninety nine, And again, it was a, a senior day, so 25 was off, so it got, I got it for like five and a quarter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out of the frame and uh, roll it up because I think it's going to be hard to ship with this glass frame. You know, that can't guarantee it's going to arrive unbroken. So I think what I'll do is I'll sell the poster loose and uh, roll it up in a tube. I looked up this particular poster and I lowest price I've seen was $35. The highest price was like $150. So I'm not sure what the uh, difference is in the, in, the, in the sold prices. But I'm going to do a little more research on this. Herb Ritz photograph, uh, I think they called it Fred with Tires is the name of the poster. And it was for an, a show, I guess he was doing it somewhere in New York City, back in uh, whenever. And that is a quick, quick video. I wanted to do one just before, before we leave. We're leaving here on uh, Tuesday. We'll be back in Jersey doing some more stuff in Jersey where we live, getting ready for the holidays, and doing a lot of thrifting as well. I will be back hopefully soon with a sold video of some things we've sold over the time we were down here. And uh, if you like what you see, uh, give me a comment below. Uh, subscribe if you wish, and we'll see you again soon. Take care.